Hello and welcome back. Today's video is going to be all about motivation and finding your motivation. So after I posted the I quit video I had loads of comments saying go on girl and good on you and all that as well as a lot of comments and messages saying I wish I could do that and you're so brave and all of this kind of style message where it's like I wish I could be doing what you're doing. So today I am here to help demonstrate that you can totally do what I am doing. It's just a matter of changing your mindset, finding your focus and going hell for leather. So today is going to be all about changing your mindset and hopefully giving you the option to start figuring out what it is you actually want to accomplish. Bit of a brief on me, you know that I've had the issues with the bullying at work. Um, I guess bullying would put it in this quote marks. Um, I have also generally been a pretty negative person. I would say I'm a good 60% positive and definitely a good 40% negative. <laughs> well, I was anyway. I still have the odd moment where I'm not a happy person. But I still very much blamed other people for my situation. I demonstrated jealousy because I was like, oh, I want what they have and how come they have it and I don't? And how come they're doing well and I'm not? Um, I also, the odd time would have been a right royal gossip, which by the way is really not good for your head. You just spiral into negative thinking and you inflict that on yourself. Um, as well as generally just being lazy as sin. <laughs> There's all these things, it's like, I really want to do that. And it's like, yeah, you have to put the work in to do it. And if you really care enough about something, you will put the work in. And if you don't, it's kind of hard work to make yourself do anything about it. So let's get started with some actionable things that you can do now to gradually help change your mindset and change your, just your patterns of thought because we very much have these things ingrained from a young age on how we think about things. It's all called cognitive bias. So if you want to go and Google that and look it up, feel free. I have some interesting books on that if you would like. Uh, um, thinking fast and slow is an interesting one, but there are lots on it. So things that have helped change my mind from being a negative pain in the ass to sorting my shit out. First up, we have The Happiness Project. That's by Gretchen Rubin. This has had the biggest influence on me because it was one of the first that I read that really changed my head. I was very much at a point in my life where I was, you know, generally pretty happy with everything. It was okay, but there was just something to miss and I knew it was a grump and I wasn't as happy as I could be with my life situation. So Happiness Project, similar to myself, she was in a pretty decent situation, but she just wanted to improve her overall feeling of well-being and happiness. And she made lots of little changes to help that change, I guess is the best way of saying it. Um, definitely recommend listening to it. I tend to listen to a lot of these books when I'm walking to and from work or if I'm just going for big walks. I like to listen to an audiobook. I find it sinks in a lot better for me as well because it's like somebody is telling me a story and I can hold on a lot better to anecdotal evidence. I hope I've said that right. Um, basically, I will take a lot more from somebody's story than from static um, stats. For example, if somebody's trying to explain a situation. So I thoroughly enjoyed listening to that and it very much gave me the mindset that I could start making lots of little changes in my life to improve the situation. Um, next along, I sort of listened to quite a few other books. None of them really stuck um, until I hit the success principles because I knew I had some goals I wanted to achieve. I just hadn't quite figured out what it was. So the success principles, although the latest book is a wee bit long-winded in points and definitely a layer of cheese. It made some very good points and it very much drove the point home that if you want to change something and you want to get something, you can totally do it. You just have to apply certain rules to your life. Basically, you need to just get ordered and get on with it, in short. But a really good book, again, to listen to or to read. The third is quite a recent one and it's The Magic of Thinking Big. And this has been great for me as well because I used to be one for making excuses. I made a lot of excuses and it was like, oh well, you know, when it came to, for example, when I was training for Worlds, my knee gave me horrendous jip for the past year and I also have nerve damage in my other leg. And I was using that very much as an excuse to be like, oh, I can't continue training because this is sore. I can totally continue training. I just take the anti-inflammatories and it's not an issue and it's not causing me any kind of long-term damage. Um, and I just need to get up off my ass and stop making an excuse basically for being lazy. He also, the author also discusses things like people use the excuse of age or 
I'm too poor to do anything or just their life situation. They will find an excuse for remaining in that situation. So again, a really, really good book to listen to. If you do want to make changes of your life and you are starting to become aware of the fact that you're in your current life situation because of your own choices and you need to take responsibility for that. So those audiobooks were really good for me and I would definitely recommend checking them out. I will link them down below. Um, uh, another big factor, and this has been one that has been going on for a very long time and it has just continued to knock at my head and at my consciousness and it's various YouTubers. And I'm gonna name one in particular because I've come to realize that he has been the biggest influence of the whole lot. And it's Casey Neistat. Now we are all aware of who the man is and he's not everybody's cup of tea and that's entirely fine. But I am quite inspired by him because he is the same age as myself, basically. And he hasn't had the best start in life at all. Um, he dropped out of high school, he had a child when he was incredibly young, he worked all of the shit jobs you could have going, like seriously, uh, just so he could continue to aim towards his goal and go for it. He would find any way possible to continue being able to work towards his main goal. And he still works incredibly hard, and I mean incredibly hard. It's inspiring, it's, I would love to be able to work as hard as he does but I need some sleep the man doesn't sleep <laughs> so I need my sleep so I am making sure I am working to my fullest potential and I am making best use of my time but he was very inspiring because I could see what he was doing and I could see the work that he was putting in and the results that he was getting and the fact that he continued to iterate on top of what he was doing and he didn't let people tell him he couldn't basically and he risked his luck a lot of the time and he worked incredibly hard and he got the results. It all paid off. So that for me is incredibly inspiring. And then, as you know, I went to the Power of Video Conference. I will link that vlog down below. Um, and that was a massive turning point for me because having contact with these people, I've been able to ask them questions. And my biggest question was always, how do I do something? I know it'd be really good, but I'm so scared of doing it. And the answer was, you keep yourself so busy that you don't give yourself a choice, you just get on and do it. So that was the YouTubers. I would recommend finding people that inspire you. What is it about their videos that you like? What is it you want to get from their videos? How are you going to achieve the same result in your own life? How are you going to have something you really like? Um, the third thing for me has been gradually changing the people I hang around with more. So I still, like I haven't changed my group of friends as such. I haven't suddenly cut anybody from my life, anything like that. I'm just more aware of some of my friends are much more positive than others. And I'm generally more busy, so I don't see all of my friends as much as I once did anyway. So it's not that, but I try to make sure that the people I hang around with more are people that are positive and people that are doing things with their life and they're going after their goals and they are full of ideas and they're moving forward, basically. If you hang around with negative people, they will hold you back. And this is definitely, definitely true. Um, basically, some people are limited in their thinking. And if you sort of start to suggest, oh, I wanna be able to do this and this and this and this and this and all these great things. And they'd be like, oh, don't be ridiculous. You can't do it because of this and this and this and this. Those are not the kind of people you want to hang about with. The people you want in your life are people like, that's a fantastic idea, how are we gonna do it? Those are the people you want there because those are the people that will actually help you move forward in your life and will help you build. Do you know what I mean? There is that saying, it's, what is it? If you want anything done, ask a busy man because generally those are the people that are getting things done. If somebody has too much time in their hands, they're not getting stuff done. They're not using their full potential. Now that is a broad sweeping statement uh, and we all have days where we have the day off or, you know, we have time off, we have breaks. But generally speaking, those that are busy in their life are getting stuff done and you can see that reflected in their life. Uh, whether it's various job promotions or they're at the top of their game when it comes to their particular sport or anything like that. They will not be limited by various excuses, whether it's, oh, I've hurt my shoulder or of this, that or the other. They are just going out and they are getting it. And those are the kind of people you want in your life. Now, all these things are great, but you have to be aware of your attitude and you have to want to change. 
So no matter how much I tell you that these are great things, you have to want to change and you have to decide to change. So it takes effort. It took me the best part of a year of gradually chipping away at my negative mentality to start to realize that I could accomplish a lot more in my life. I very much was a naysayer of myself. I would have these great ideas and think, oh, well, I couldn't do that. I couldn't do X, Y, or Z because this, that, and the other. That is basically, I was knocking myself down. And I also laid blame at other people's door because of my life situation. And I also, basically, I did not take responsibility for my life and the situation I was in, in short. And the whole negative thing, that can come from being around negative people who have that negative attitude. So just constantly having that reinforced that you couldn't do this because of this. You will replay that back to yourself. So if you want change in your life, you are going to have to get back up, back up. You just have to get up of your backside. You have to decide you really want it. Now, if something you have a goal and you're like, well, you're complaining about the goal and, oh, I don't know, it's blah, blah, blah. You know, you're making an excuse for not doing the work towards that goal. Maybe this isn't the goal for you. Maybe you haven't found your happy thing. Maybe you need to change direction. I would consider sitting down with a pencil and a piece of paper and listing out all the things that make you really happy. Maybe do a spider diagram. I am love I love them. I'm a big fan of that. Just mind mapping everything out. Um, it tends to get a lot out of your head. And if you have a pen and a piece of paper rather than a computer, you have to focus on the task that you're doing. So your mind can't really wander off to Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. So focus on what you're doing. But you do have to make the change. Now I have a phrase I like to repeat to myself and it sounds harsh to some people but to me it just is a great way of getting up off the sofa when I want to be lazy and it is you either make excuses or you make progress. This might work for you, it might be a bit too mean. If it's a bit too mean though, are you making an excuse right there? I don't know, consider your options. <laughs> But for me, it works incredibly well. And I like to also use positive reinforcement wherever I can. On my Facebook, or not on my Facebook, on my um, computer wallpaper and on my phone wallpaper, I have the saying, do epic shit. Because I want to do epic shit and I want to do really cool things. So the only way I'm going to get to do that is by getting up off my backside and actually getting on with it. You have a finite amount of time, prioritise what it is that is important to you, that will make a difference to you, that will make you happy and that will help you achieve your goals. So you just need to get up off your bum. Now a lot of people also use excuses all the time, it's like oh I have this wrong with me and I don't have time because of that and blah blah blah. I also like to use and dot dot dot. I have a whole heap of things wrong with me. God, I'm a genetic mess if I sat down and thought about it. But there are also fantastic people out in the world that have accomplished great things in their life and have overcome massive barriers. But they have just got up and they have got on with it. They haven't used it as an excuse not to do something with their life. A lot of people, and you do not realise it, are carrying a huge burden every day and they still get on with it. You don't hear them whinge and complain and moan about it. Nope, they're too busy aiming for their goal and they're, as I said, just getting on with it. So, I'm gonna try and leave it on a positive note. You are more than capable of reaching your goal. Get up off your bum now, decide what it is you're gonna do and go, 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 go. Seriously, just go. You do not wanna grow old and have the regret of I wish I would have. Do you? Or God only knows you could die tomorrow and you haven't done anything with your life. You know, we only have one spin around. Go and make the most of it. Maybe have some ice cream along the way too. That's always a good thing. But however, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm gonna try and do this as a series. So we'll start with motivation and I'll move on to more actionable things that I am doing as we go. I will link everything I've mentioned and 
like I said, if you want to like start some sort of conversation or group chat or anything else, I've got a Facebook so we could maybe like all hang out there and talk or hit me up on Twitter, leave comments down below, have all the chats down below, inspire each other. Come on guys, you can totally do this. Okay, I am gonna go and get on my day. I hope you're having a cracking one and I will chat to you very, very soon. Make sure you like and subscribe and if you're new, hello, please feel free to subscribe. And I'll chat you really soon, guys. Bye.